Okay. All right, Doug, what is your name? <laughs> uh, Doug, Douglas Edward Weber. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, originally from Washington, Missouri, currently residing in Washington, Missouri. Look at the camera. Who are you? No, no, no. Look no. at me. Who are your no. parents? My parents, Melvin Weber and Doris Weber. What year is this? What is it? 2016. Who are you married to? My wife, Lori Sue Weber. And who are your children? Ella Weber and Sophie Weber. Okay, now I'm going to ask you some questions that may challenge you, may go back 40 some years. Okay, where were you, where were you born? Born in what? But, uh, St. Francis Borgia High School uh, <laughs> Hospital in Washington, Missouri. What house did you live at first? 905 North Street in Washington, Missouri. And, uh, you had some siblings? Well, at the time it was just Ron, my older brother Ron, my younger brothers uh, Randy and Corey came along uh, five and eight years later. Okay, so what are your old, some of your oldest memories? I remember pooping my pants one time. <laughs> <laughs> this is, no, my oldest memories are, uh, boy, I, uh, you know, riding my bike up and down that hill on Nora Street, running around in the backyard, hunting Easter eggs and Santa Claus coming, and, and uh, um, boy, I had, just had a great time. And then the one of the real highlights is when Ron and I got our own bedroom upstairs, you know, we got to kind of part ways with separate ourselves a little bit from mom and dad and we were on our own we were upstairs but uh we weren't too far away but that was that was a lot of fun we had some wonderful neighbors uh some other guys in the neighborhood who were uh, comparable in age to us and we used to play ball all the time did you move when you were young yeah i mean i would go up and down the stairs i would go to the bathroom occasionally did you change addresses <laughs> okay when i was nine years old we moved from nora street we moved to uh, beaker road our house in the country on beaker road so. what was life like out on beaker road <laughs> it was much the same uh our younger brothers were starting to grow up a little bit more at that point so they were a little more involved but uh it, it became more of a uh uh, our recreation was focused largely upon the environment, uh, the the, pool, the pond, the creek. In the winter times, we had a really nice hill behind the house we could go sleigh riding on, and got a lot of got a lot of snow in those days. It seemed like, yeah. and uh, and yeah, the the uh, big yard to cut, um, and of course, like Grandpa said, their big garden, which Grandpa spent a lot of time in the garden. We didn't, but. Um, it's a lot of strawberries, and uh, it, it was a really nice house. We really, I really liked that house. All right, so let's move you to high school years. So now you're 15, 16, 17 years old. What were you, what kind of person were you like when you're 15, 16? Well, I was very disciplined, focused on my studies. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Not. <laughs> no, I, I was a fun-loving young man. I liked to have a good time, and school was not one of my priorities. Uh, always had a job. I worked at Pat Key's Farm Dairy um, from the time I was 14 all the way through high school. Um, Who were some of your best friends at that time? Uh, oh, some first names. Jeff Hellbush, Kyle Bell, uh, <laughs> Jay Rapazzo, right. Brett Regal, Tim Monsell, Craig Schriever, Gary Kleesner. Um, I don't know who I'm sure I'm missing. A Tim, Tim Monsell. Uh, you said that? Yeah, I'm missing a few. Did you play a lot of sports when you were I young? I played baseball. Oh, well, and when I and I was young, I played a lot of baseball. Every every summer, we played a lot of baseball, and then um, in eighth grade and seventh grade, I played basketball at at Lords, um, and then in high school, I played baseball as well. All right, let's move forward now to college. Um, <laughs> what were some of your college years like? I loved college. Uh, you know, I, what did I you went major to in? I went to college on an art scholarship. I went to East Central for my first two and a half years on a full ride scholarship. Uh, loved it over there. I spent uh, my instructors were Chuck Shoemaker and Larry Pogue, and, and they were great guys. And I learned a lot from them, and uh, um, I learned a lot about a uh, work ethic as well. Where did you go to college? Went to East Central College for two and a half years, and then I went to Southwest Missouri State for two and a half years. All right. And so eventually, you made it back to Washington. And you met somebody. <laughs> Who did you meet? Well, at what well, after college, I moved to Kansas City for for a number of years, and then at thirty years old, I got a job opportunity back home in, in Union, which I'm currently at right now at IDM Incorporated. 
and I couldn't pass up the opportunity. So I came back home to work at Idea Man, and uh, then my life blossomed. I got to meet some new people and uh, um, really just started to enjoy life. Hold on.